Hey guys, it's Chicka Conroy. Welcome back from Earthbound. Anyway, in the last part, I warned you guys that there's a pretty tough boss fight coming up. And what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh yeah, they didn't have to fight us. Alright, the manly fish. Now, I'm going to go ahead and warn you. There is a very tough enemy in here. Uh, alongside the manly fish in most cases. It's called the manly fish's brother. Now these things... Manly fish's brother I'm talking about... They can drop a horn of life, which is a very helpful item. You know, it brings you back to life. Sam fakes a couple life noodles. However, they only have a 1 in a 128 chance of dropping these items. There's many items like this throughout the course of the game, and in fact, there are some people who have tried to get them all. Only a couple of them have been successful, to my knowledge. And uh, that item, the Manly Fish's Brother, is one of the rarest enemies to even find in the game, and they have a 1 in a 128 chance of dropping one of those horns of life. So anyone who's trying to find all those items... I understand your pain for hating the Manly Fish's brothers so much. Oh my god, I can hardly imagine what that must be like. Oh god, not a hostile Elder Oak, not a hostile Elder Oak! Okay, we're gonna try running away. Couldn't run away. Brain shock. Didn't work. Yay, come on, run away, run away, run away! Run, Forrest, run! Yay, we ran away, we ran away, we are cowards. We will be cowards. Battle the... What the... I don't even know myself anymore. Oh my god. I am so weird. <laughs> oh god. Try fire gamma. I gotta. That was not smart. Swung his tail very hard. Javid spear. <laughs> don't die, Paula. I don't want to have to waste PP reviving you. No, I will have to waste PP reviving you. No. Ah eh, well. It's only 20 PP. Yay, and it actually worked on the first try. And I got some PSI caramels in my inventory, so if I run into PP, I'm good. And I also got that magic truffle that I still haven't used. Let's try thunder. Didn't hit anyone. Damn. Jeez, just the high. Thank you. Okay. So, oh. Is there magic truffle here? Guess there isn't. Hurry up and get away from that enemy. I saw, an, I saw an enemy off in the distance. I don't want to fight it. Okay, this is where we gotta go. Right through here is where the tough boss is. I just want to make sure there are no items through here. Okay, now that we're coming up on this boss, I'm gonna go ahead and heal up. Just, you know, to be on the safe side. Uh, I think Life of Alpha will be good enough for Jeff. Yeah, he's pretty close to max HP. Uh, we're gonna use our PSI caramels right here. Just be careful. Um, I'm gonna use the rock candy on Nest this time. Vitality went up by one. When we level up next, oh my god, that's gonna be so cool. Um, let's use our other PSI caramel on Paula. Now, this next boss should look very familiar to you. Look at that. He's blocking our way, so we have to talk to him. You may have forgotten, but. Oh. I am the return of Belch. I fought you before. P you! Don't you remember my ripe odor? Belch has trained more and returned much stronger. Oh. Belch has also changed his name to Puke. Barf, vomit, barf, barf, chuck, chuck. Drown to death in puke. Don't you think it's an incredibly masculine taunt to throw at you? Alright, now we have Master Barf. Master Barf. Not really too different from the previous fight with Master Belch, you know. Still can make you cry, still can make you nauseous, make you sick, gross you out, that kind of stuff. 
Now, this time he won't go for the fly honey, which doesn't matter though, because you won't have it anymore anyway. Shouldn't have it anymore anyway. But what you gotta do here, I'll go ahead and open up a flash, you know, as usual. We're gonna do. And we'll do Freeze Omega. And for Jeff, multi bottle rocket. So we're just gonna totally annihilate him, probably one turn. Honestly, though, bosses from here on out are really not that hard. Well, except for a couple of them. Look how much damage this will do. 1824. Suddenly, Pooh swooped down from the sky. That's it. That is the rest of the fight. Pooh used his new power. PK Stastum! And he's dead. That is it. I'm not getting you. That was it. <laughs> Freeze, multi bottle rocket, dead. Alright, now, Master Barf, he will give you the Casey bat. That's an item for Ness. Right, hang on, let me see. Max speed on at 15. Damn. Bugger level. Alright, sweet. Okay, so we got Pooh back in this fight, and he has PK Starstorm now. Which I'm happy about. Starstorm, very helpful, hits all enemies, really powerful. So now that we got Pooh back, let's uh, see here. Oh my god. He's probably our weakest character by far again. 57, 51, 50, 42. Damn. But anyway, um, Casey Bat is a very powerful item for Ness, but you do not want to equip it if you value your sanity. I'm not kidding you. The Casey Bat will miss three quarters of the time, but it is the most powerful offensive item in the game. So yeah, if you want to have awesome power, if you're going to be dependent on like first strikes killing enemies, like doing back attacks on enemies, and depending on that killing them, sure it's a good item, and I actually will be using it for that in a little bit, for reasons I'll tell you guys then. But honestly, you do not want to equip it, trust me, because I made that same mistake on my first playthrough and I couldn't understand why Ness kept missing, and I kept calling home thinking it was homesickness, and great. So yeah, and there you have it. Casey Bat, very powerful item, but it will drive you insane. God, I wish I could find a magic truffle without having a pig nose. Is this it? No. Damn. It's kind of weird they have a pig nose that helps you find truffles though, because isn't it dogs that are trained to find truffles? Never mind. All right, we think we're coming up at the end right here. Oh god! 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 A lot of enemies down there. Alright, this is where you need to go. This is the end of Deep Darkness. So let's go ahead and head in this cave. Thank God we're out of there. Jeez. We're shy. Okay. We're shy. Yes, I caught that before. We're shy. Okay, it seems that'll be all I'll say this. Are you the leader? We're all shy. Rumor, I heard a book to fix shyness there is. Where? Don't know. Just a rumor. So they're shy and they won't talk to us. Let's dig around in the trash can. We got a death ray inside. Let's give that to Jeff. Thank God we have poo bag. Now we get a lot more space in our inventory and I have a lot more room to goof around with selling items. Alright, let's try equipping the death ray. Let's see what's better than the crusher beam. By a lot, yeah. 18 more points. What's this? What does this say? Weird junk. Pfft. Weird junk is right. Trash can, a tin can, a mailbox, a telephone. Science is weird junk, and then a TV. Broken TV. Let's go ahead and use the phone. Alright, well, on the note of getting here, this very strange village that has a lot of very shy creatures in it that won't even talk to us, I'm going to go ahead and cut it right here. So guys, if you enjoyed this part, subscribe to the videos up in the corner, big yellow button, give me a good five star reviews down below this video, and be sure to check out my other parts if you like this one. I promise the parts will start getting funnier soon, okay? I just have had a lot of short parts with a lot of annoying enemies, and it's not very funny when I'm doing that, okay? So anyway, I will see you guys later!